This is a cast iron exhaust manifold off of a John Deere 440, I believe. It belongs to my brother. But cast iron's always been something that's kind of a little bit tricky to weld. But you can see where they broke the ear off of it here. So we're going to repair this thing real quick. Now what we're going to do it is, first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean all this rust up around here. We're going to bevel it real nice so we get some weld in there. And then we're going to braze it. But before we braze it, I'm going to put a little jig on top to hold it all flat like this. I'm going to put a permanent stud in here now so that it's got something. I'm going to try to weld that stud down here. You can see how thin this is right here. It's just paper thin. So we'll get that all cleaned up and we'll get it ground down. We'll get our bracket folded on there and then we'll brace it all back together. Kind of like oven welding it. So once we get it hot and we get it brazed together, what I do is I got a big bucket of oil dry over there and I dig a hole in it. And when it's all done, I'll throw this down in that oil dry and I'll cover it up with another bag of oil dry and let it in there for a day. And you'd be surprised how slow it cools. But if it cools fast, it'll break again. If it cools slow, usually you have pretty good luck. So we'll give her a try and we'll see what happens and we'll show it to you when we get it cleaned up. So here you can see we've got it all cleaned up. Got our manifold all cleaned up and ready to weld. That's the main thing. Get it as clean, I mean just spotless. Now we're going to bolt this bracket on there. We get the bracket bolted on there. We'll get ready to weld it here. So here it is with my homemade bracket bolted onto it. All nice and clean. Ready to weld. So what I have here is I have a great big wooden box full of oil dry. And then I got another bucket of oil dry here. So when I get done welding it, I'm going to take it and I'm going to lay it down here in the bottom of this. I'm going to take that bucket of oil dry and I'm going to smother it so that it's in there about six inches deep. And that'll let it cool off real slow. So immediately when I get done welding it, I'm going to throw it in this bucket of oil dry here and uh, cover it up. I'm going to use a cutting torch tip instead of a brazen tip because I want to get a lot of heat in that manifold and I don't want to be here all day doing it so I usually use a cutting torch tip and then when I get it all hot then I'll turn it turn my flame down and then I'll finish brazen with that but we're going to incorporate this bolt and we're going to end up making that all part of that so it's got some strength to it and uh, make it stronger You want to try to bring the heat up as even as you can. And it takes a lot of heat to get it hot. So I'll probably cut a lot of this out of here. And when I get it hot, then I'll start, I'll show you again when we start welding.
I'm gonna take and run it over there and throw it in that oil dryer real quick like. Kind of letting it lose its color just for a minute. Let the heat kind of slow down and equalize. Get the red out of it. Then I'm gonna go there and throw it in that oil dryer. take you over here and show you here what I got going on so now I've, I've got it buried in there and it's usually pretty amazing because you can come back in about six or eight hours and that thing will still be hot but that's what I use that for and it works really well so we pulled her out of the floor dry it was in there about three hours still warm but uh, you can see how I incorporated that bolt into that. So there's a lot of extra meat there to help it support the weight of the muffler. So we'll take this bracket off of here now and call it good. So thanks for watching.